What really happens is that the 9 billion is simply created out of thin air on top of the existing 10 billion dollar deposit. So the exchange has been made and now 10 billion dollars sits in a commercial bank account. Here's where it gets really interesting. For as based on the fractional reserve practice, that 10 billion dollar deposit instantly becomes part of the bank's reserves, just as all deposits do. And regarding reserve requirements, as stated in modern money mechanics, a bank must maintain legally required reserves equal to a prescribed percentage of its deposits. It then quantifies this by stating, under current regulations, the reserve requirement against most transaction accounts is 10%. This means that with a $10 billion deposit, 10% or 1 billion is held as the required reserve, while the other 9 billion is considered an excessive reserve and can be used as the basis for new loans. Now, it is logical to assume that this 9 billion is literally coming out of the existing $10 billion deposit. However, this is actually not the case. What really happens is that the 9 billion is simply created out of thin air on top of the existing $10 billion deposit. This is how the money supply is expanded. In other words, the 9 billion can be created out of nothing simply because there is a demand for such a loan and that there is a $10 billion deposit to satisfy the reserve requirement.